has been maining Mirage since the middle of this year, and his Scythe and Spear are both very, very well equipped. So I, I'm excited for this uh, this head-to-head. -head. He's always been so good with the Scythe, and I watching him earlier, man, it looks like he's not lost a step. He was playing so well, but the Spear kicking things off for Java, racking up some nice damage. Sayer good. Tries for the down light, no good. Yeah, and Java is one of the most technical players in, in game, and also one of the players that I think will, like, when he finds something new to do, he, he, he makes it a requirement that he has to incorporate in his play, whether it's optimal or not. And that's what makes him so fun to watch. He was one of the first players that does, like, weapon throw pickup combos. That spear recovery takes out Sandstorm pretty quickly in this opening game, and so far, um, in addition to how, how quick and technical of a player that he is, Hattori is such a great fit for him because of that eight base movement mm -hmm. speed where he gets all that aerial drift and grounded drift as well. Um, Sandstorm's going to have to be able to keep up, literally, if he wants to be able to beat Java here in this best of five because he is fast. Man, one of the things about Java that I like is, yes, sir, I love that down stick. Go ahead, Sandstorm, I like it. Uh, but one of the He says I like that he about... uses that like a spot dodge. That's not what that was. Anyways, continue your thought. <laughs> continue your thought. No, uh, one of the things I like about Java is that he commits to the unexpected. Like, sometimes when, when you think that a player would, like, give up on pressure or they won't even go for a specific attack, like certain recoveries that he hits, mm -hmm. he he's does it and, you're, and you get hit because why'd you do that? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he's tough to fight for sure. Uh, and Sword picked up now. That's not the spear that he was dominating on. And Sandstorm's got the scythe, so he's going to go for a dodge read here. Dodges away, though, doesn't catch with the down light. If he dodged down, it would have been pretty great. Falling, Sare puts Java off the side of the stage. And Java's, I think, biding his time for a weapon spawn. He sees it. Does he switch over to it? No, he puts up the sideline instead. He wants a corner pressure. Sandstorm in the ground pound uh, catches Sandstorm, dodging straight to the wall. Uh, think about it. Think about it. That's what I was saying, dude. Yeah. It, That's it's, the unexpected. It's, it's a tough situation, too, because dodging dodging into a wall mm -hmm. means that your dodge ends the second you're, you touch the wall. It mm -hmm. doesn't last as long as a directional dodge would normally last. Um, and Sandstorm just wanted to get his jumps back so badly that he didn't expect that Java would cover it. And Sword Ground Pound, one of the fastest ground pounds to cover the wall like that. True, true, so, true. Well played by Java. Weapon throw to stop that spear recovery and to pick up neutral light. D-Light down air goes for the nair afterwards, but didn't pivot it. And so Sandstorm narrowly escapes even more damage. But Java running away with the lead. Here, spikes Sheesh. him with the NSYNC, goes for the gravity cancel side light, and he goes so far off stage that he almost SDs, but no, manages to make it back. Oh, this is this first game, the way that Java is playing is why I thought you guys were tripping with how skewed the player vote was. Yeah. I like that commitment from Sandstorm. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the touch, and Java I mean, closing out game number one. There's nothing that you can do about Sandstorm bias and viewer vote, just like how there's nothing that you can do in like a region head-to-head, -head, South America fan bias, right? Yeah. So I still think that like no matter what, even if Java like won the last five tournaments, it would still probably be that way. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> that, was, that was much more dominant than I think a lot of people were expecting. And that's just how good Java is right now. Like, Java is really, really good at Hattori. Yeah, <laughs> it's not, yeah. Nobody wants him in his path at the moment. And he's only getting faster. It's really terrifying Great. watching him play, actually, where you're like, huh. He did just do that. And and, <laughs> and, and he, he, like you said, he'll commit to the things where it's like, even though I think a lot of players would look at like an edge guard scenario like myself, where I was like, okay, he knocked him off stage, go back, deny the weapons and stuff. He's like, no, I've got pressure. I'm going to continue pressure until the stock is gone. And look at this. Once again, goes off stage, tries to get that side stick and doesn't hit. The way that he baits you into doing things, his movement is so clean. Like, the way that he – I think it's the horizontal, his, his jumps into fast falls, the way that he controls that and makes, you, and makes you get out of position, that's what makes him so good. And Sandstorm now having him on the side of the stage. What is he going to go for here? Downlights are usually his favorite thing for, for, for when players try to dash onto the stage, but it doesn't connect. Down air off the side, and Java just gets out of the string. Sandstorm's not getting anything started with the scythe. That's what he's known for, but Java just keeps escaping, and that exhausted recovery almost takes Sandstorm off the top. Yeah, his scythe defense has really been the answer for sure. He's not allowing Sandstorm to get those strings like he's been getting against other players. He gets a side light. He's not going to go down there and commit. It's the threat of that recovery, right? Like, he doesn't, oh. it's two pinpoints. But the down sig, talk so about good. pinpoint accuracy. Yeah. He's getting the first dog. And I, I'm, I'm wondering how many more tournaments it's going to be before players are like, okay, don't land on Sandstorm because he's going to release the Mirage down sig. And he's so, so fantastic with that move. Mm -hmm. um, even with a little bit of uh, 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 of nerfs to the end lag on that. After his, hold on, wait a second, laddering up with the scythe. Okay. Only, only puts him into... Orange Java struggling to find a weapon, but yeah, he, he it's just it's basically Sandstorm's patented move at this point. Anytime that he needs to be able to get a, a get off me tool, that down to come through. And Java finally 
ends that talk with the side stick, and he shows off that movement. You saw him moving. He's crazy. Man, I love it. I love it. And so, I mean, he didn't need too much damage. He did get caught by a combination. Good sign for Sandstorm, right? He finally landed a few strings with the scythe, and it's looking looking like he's got it warmed up. Now he's got spear in hand, though. Going to have to deal with Java with his sword. What a punish. Oh, and he dodges through the nair. Clever from Sandstorm to be able to challenge that in that situation, but Java continues to get more damage on the way back down. Oh, wow. What the? That gravity cancel end -sync was the hardest read I've ever seen on dash jump, pivot, ground pound. That was, <laughs> was like, he was like, he's like, I'm ready. Yeah, I've, seen, I've been seeing him use that as a threat. He was doing it a couple of, he did it a couple times earlier when I was watching the game. Nice. Sandstorm with the coverage, did not need it. Ground Pound doesn't even have to touch. Java's still going to lose the stock, and yeah. pretty hefty lead at this point. Java decided not to drift to the ledge and take the stock on his own accord instead of go down to unarmed Ground Pound, and I respect it. Um, <laughs> two to one now. Sandstorm has made some good adaptations. Java's been mostly off of the spear so far, and he has not found what he had gotten started with. All right. Oh, okay, here we go. This is a, oh, nice, nice. Sandstorm able to find his way out. Java was definitely trying to find that moment or wait for a dodge so he can catch the recovery. Unfortunately, he does not able to get that stock off, but the Sayer's good. And Sandstorm gets knocked into his own weapon and catches it. That was clean. Oh, yeah. Pogos are coming out side six. Second time that he's knocked out without this game. All right, this is not a uh, insurmountable lead here. Java has basically brought this back to even. If he finds one nice, he loves going for those down like down air strings so, or combos so that he can get a string right afterwards off of a good dodge read. But Sandstorm doesn't even let him get started. Puts him into the red right away. One Nair into recovery does connect. Sandstorm uses his dodge to get back on the ground, and Java only gets a sidelight for it. What else can he find? He needs to get something started here. At the moment, it looks like he can't find anything. He's trying to bait something out of Sandstorm, but Sandstorm playing a little patient, not really reaching oh. out, extending for anything. Nice. Recovery past the wall, hoping that it would clip, clip Sandstorm, but instead he gets caught and caught again by that neutral signature. Sandstorm brings it back to an even score line on the set. And we're going almost straight into the next game here with the, of those uh, stage bands. I like um, it. I like it. There's that down to coming through. And, we, and, and the damage dealt compared to damage taken, almost all on the scythe there. <laughs> Saw that ground pound. And, and actually, you were right. Yeah, he was just he was just never making it back there. Sansom just had that coverage to go. Yeah, that oh, was Rapper Rooney. That caught the diagonal dodge at two. All right. Three, and he's got some good coverage, man. He's got some good coverage. It's pretty, it's fast. But if you do it like, you know, halfway through the dodge, it'll catch. It'll catch. All right, here we go, back to Apocalypse. Uh, the maps that were banned out were, I think, it was, he banned to Enigma, Western Air Temple, Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. And so basically that means only Apocalypse was left, because unless you, you <laughs> really enjoy playing on platform stages right now, this is where you're always going to go. And Java does like that. Um, I guess he doesn't like Miami Dome that much. This is the compromise stage, yeah. right? One guy wants plus, one guy doesn't. I mean, you just like you get the one plat and it moves go. around. Oh, that ground pound caught him out of a jump, I think? Oh, but he still had enough to make it back, and that cider gives him the chase dodge. Java just dashes right past, Ooh. dash land side sig, takes him out, and Java takes a quick lead in game three. The way he spaces that edge with the side sig, man, it, it, he does that very consistently. Yeah. Uh, that was nice. All right, so pretty, pretty big lead. I, I just now noticed how little damage was on Java on that first stock. Spear versus Spear, and Java is definitely winning this exchange. Off on the side of the stage, Sandstorm doesn't want to commit to anything, doesn't even punish the recovery, but catches a side light, down light. Mm, yeah, D-Light Cider will disarm him too. Can he make it back? Gross. That dash pivot down light was actually very close. Java kicks his way back, and Java, man, he he will just be like, ah, I see the weapon over there, but I feel like I can kick you. And that's, <laughs> and that's what he wants. Look at him go! Yo! All right. <laughs> if he landed that duff, dude. <laughs> I mean, that was a good five clean hits on arm before he went down to that haymaker, or to, to, to getting that haymaker interrupted. He goes with the down again. All right, Java, he's just, uh, he's going berserk. Look at him go. He does not want a weapon. He does this sometimes. This isn't unusual for him. He will literally just decide to play the game this way. He can't. Bruh, he can't. stop it. Oh, I wanted to see Sand. Honestly, be advised. Dude, I, I like wanted to, to see imagine, Sandstorm make him pay. Bro, I like but. to imagine that like Java's like, I'm not picking up a weapon for this entire stock. And he goes off stage and he sees that happens and he smiles and he nods his head. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> and, like, exactly. He's like, yeah, that's that is exactly what he was going for. Sandstorm SDing in remarkably uh, remarkable fashion there. Oh, and Java now doing so much damage, taking more than a stock lead at this point with that side light connecting, and Sandstorm switches back over to the scythe, but Java on the spear is so hard to fight against in a deficit like this. Neutral light recovery, edge guard opportunity, goes for the dare, no, weapon throws at the same time, and they both lose their weapon as a result of the knockback. 
That Sand was a good play from Java because he definitely was going to get KO'd if he didn't throw the weapon back with Sandstorm because Sandstorm was about to set up a situation that probably would not have allowed him. Now It's back. It's back. You can tell he's moving. Oh, no. He picked up a weapon. Throw it away, Java. You thought you he was going to unarm you don't it? E you don't need it. When he, when he does like that aerial dash dance, okay. That down sig was a little hopeful. I think he was hoping that... um. Because when Hattori does the dancing animation, she does like those little backflips so you can fall off the side of platforms and fall down, so mm -hmm. you can aim it. I think he just misspaced it. Um, all right, so Java, be careful about how silly you're being with these side sigs, man. The, the Sandstorm, is, he needs one good dodge read at this point to completely end the star. Yeah, he can definitely make it happen. You better be careful, oh. Sair. Ooh, hold on, are you even gonna make? Yep, that was good, that was good. We see unarmed Utilizes recovery. Movement perfectly. One more unarmed recovery would do it. I think Java's like, this is going to be easier than if I have a weapon. <laughs> no, <laughs> Sword is actually a little bit better at knocking out than unarmed, I will admit. Although Sandstorm's not letting him hit him. And Java's like taking a moment here, like, what do I do? How do I get in? Is falling Sair? Okay, rising Sair. Other direction. That'll work. He's got Sandstorm at match point. Man, look. Oh. Came into this game. A lot of champ points are on the line here. You know, you guys, like, what you guys is Sandstorm are doing? Points, being that Switch to Mordex. That's what everyone's saying right now. They're like Switch. screaming it in all caps. They're like, why don't you play your main? And Sandstorm's just like, I don't know. You know, like when there's like a laugh that's just like expresses the audacity of a comment. Like that's uh -huh. what Sandstorm does anytime anybody says like, why are you playing this character? An entire tournament on Arcadia? What are you thinking? He's just like, I prepared for this for like months for this. So he's going right. to stay. He's going to stay in Mirage. And I will, well, actually, this 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 is taking a while for map striking. Is he going to stay on Mirage? If anything, Ooh. he should switch to Magyar. That'd be cool to see that again. Magyar's been getting stealth buffs, too. He's been coming back. Hammer's like a thing. Greatsword's like... I don't think Greatsword will ever be Flavor of the Month again, but it's like been becoming more popular. We saw two Greatsword players in top eight in EU. I don't know. I, I think wish he's, he's I wish Mirage. everyone could see Flambo's face when you said it'll never be Flavor of the Month again. He, 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 he's <laughs> all right. He's right. He's, it, it, whoa, it's, it's just not that popular. That weapon. I, it could be the Flambo best weapon in the game. Like that weapon is terrible, and I'm not letting him do it. I'm not letting him do it. Uh, oh, no, no, Taz right is one of them. It's, no, it's fine right now. Okay, it's okay, there terrible. we go. There we go. I'll terrible. take fine. I'll take fine. It's a good weapon. It's just, it's just people. Somebody who's going to play Greatsword is not really going to play anything else. Yeah. In my sure, opinion, sure. it's just that it's just so different than than how everything else in Brawlhalla plays. I digress. Greatsword not locked in here for Sandstorm. He's going to be on Mirage all the way through, and that's what I'm expecting. Java, on the other hand, has got Sandstorm at match point. As we go to Apocalypse for the fourth time, and Java wants a 3 1 Sandstorm to get another back to back Royale qualifying spot here. Um, Sandstorm being very patient there, waiting out that wall slip. And then he goes for the hardest jump read ever, and it doesn't hit. You know, when you think about it, he only lost that last game because he overcommitted and lost his own stock. Well, that that self destruct. Uh, I mean, I, it was I more really than think that. that was it the was, main. It was, a, it was a two stock. Oh, it was a two stock. Yeah, 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 yeah. never mind, never mind. Never mind. Uh, well, I no, mean, no, it did. Remember, because he he had the the damage lead and everything at the point when he did that. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, it wasn't a two stock either. I'm just completely wrong. It <laughs> it, fe it felt like one, but uh, Java just like threw up five side six until eventually decided to sair. But I digress. It was um. Yeah, I mean, it was a weird match. Nutrisa comes through, Sandstorm takes the lead here in game number four. And if there's one thing I'll agree with, SDing is not a very good contributor to winning. Not at all. No. Not so, at all. So it's if he, if he doesn't do that again, it'll be fine. Oh, Java, however, going on arms. Doesn't want to do it. Sides to come through instead, and Sandstorm gets a great down air into side light. Puts him off the side of the stage, and Dare could get a ton of damage here. He's able to find it. End light Nair comes through instead, and weapon throw into unarmed Nair. Pick up Scythe Nair. Almost comes through, and Sandstorm's playing fantastic at game four. He's heating up. No NBA jam. The Scythe is looking nice. Look at him just catching him everywhere he's going. Java finally gets a touch. I think that was at least like 10 hits unanswered. Down light recovery, not enough. Java working on this first stock still. He's got him. And I'm doing it again. Cool. He, he was in he was in barbecue flavored yeah. damage range. Yeah. And he got down the down uh, ground pounded. Yeah, and that that's like when you know a spear player is pretty desperate where they're like, okay, I'm using spear ground pound at center stage. Things must be bad. He was not able to get Sandstorm stock in any fashion. That's the only time he's gonna be able to pull that out in this entire set, I think, too. Even if it does end up going to game five. That won't work again. As we just see, <laughs> Sandstorm uh, <laughs> I mean, it led into a really great combo, though. So, really, was it that bad? 
<laughs> yeah, that's the that's the stop hitting me. Yeah, I yeah. get it. Yeah. Like, leave Grandpa. me alone. I need your sock gone now. All the way into the landing animation. Sometimes you just don't expect it. Um, Java now down to one stock. Goes for a weapon throw, does pick it back up. Sansa was the same maneuver, and that one actually leads to an attack. Gets oh the landing with the God. side stick, and, and Java's pretty great at, at those sidelight follow-ups where he'll, he'll s there's like a one in five chance that he'll just go for sidelight, delight, slider off the rip, which isn't a true combo, but it's like a tight dodge window. Mm -hmm. And then every other time, he'll hit sidelight, fade back, and then react to whatever you choose out of being hit by sidelight. And there, Sansa just drifted back to the ground, so the side stick carried him away, and now it's an even game. That was nice. Weapon toss into the neutral light. Sandstorm baiting out dodges. He is, he's got a read on Java at the moment. It's looking really good. Pretty even game. Nice. Chased him up with the neutral air. Oh, no. Weaponless on both sides. And now you're going to have to deal with the spear. Oh. Side light comes through. And this might be game five coming up here. Zip. Let's see what he can do. So Java gets hit with the mm -hmm. down light. Active input, input does the strong hit there. Um, I think one more downlight would just knock out. So yeah, he's just yeah, looking yeah. for it. Sidelight hits. That strong hits is a little weaker than downlight. And Sandstorm like at, gets that sidelight. Um, and that was actually an interesting choice because sidelight has like the strong hit we saw before, and then the weak hit where he kicks him up, and the knockback is fixed. Um, and he mixes it up that time, and then waits to see what Java does. Doesn't see an immediate jo dodge, and goes right for the recovery. So that was a, a really patient edge guard and a, a much needed adapta adaptation from. Um, the previous game, where when he went off stage for an edge guard, he just fell. And yes. That's. <laughs> I, I guess he's just thinking about it, and he's like, oh, I guess I don't got those today. And you know what? I don't blame him. Here we're going to game five. It's been all APOC between these two players. And now it's Java versus Sandstorm. Winner of this goes to the Autumn Royale, guaranteed. Uh, and the loser of this goes in the elimination bracket and has to fight two more sets to even have a chance. Yep, still has an opportunity if you fall into the loser bracket, but you don't want the lower side of the bracket, but you don't want that. You want to do it here and now. And we got Scythe versus Spear. Java started this set off really hot, but Sandstorm, moment after moment, he's just slowly heating up. Ooh, Pogo after Pogo. Goes from the slide chart side sig. Sandstorm not falling for that just yet. Does a nice job uh, jumping back with the stair onto the stage. Sansom Rubber sends him to the left side, waiting for that landing there. Gets the side light. No D light afterwards. The end light recovery will put Java off the side of the stage. But that recovery being gone, what's Sansom going to do? Switch it over to the spear. I thought he was about to down him. I really was looking for it's it. It's not as great on the spear as the scythe, even though it does cover the same stuff. But Sansom did, did pull up one of those. Java manages to make it back. Sansom goes off stage for an edge guard. Delight recovered. Yo, I thought it was going to be Delight recovery, but I think his recovery was gone. I don't know. He went for Delight in there just instead. He just exhausted one, right? I, I, yeah. I don't know. I guess he didn't expect that Delight to hit, and that was just the first move that came to mind. That yeah. was that was something. It could have also been that recovery just couldn't reach in time for it to be a true combo with how far away the Delight hit. I'm not sure. Either way, Java does clean up that stock. It was a really great call out on the unarmed recovery from Sandstorm. Mm -hmm. But uh, any hit at this point, I think, for Sandstorm will do. I'm gonna be honest though. Oh, I, I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, no. hey, Java, Dodge don't hurt down in recovery. That's a huge amount of extra credit coming out from Java now. That's 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 amazing. That's as much as you could ask for off of a D light opener. Dang, that's crazy. He had, he did have to land that weapon throw. I actually thought it was impossible for him to make it back. I knew he used all of his resources except for the given jump from being touched. Well, yeah, but once you get hit by a weapon, you get that jump. You get like, hit by anything, you get one jump back. Mm -hmm. So I think I don't think he needed the weapon throw, but it definitely secured it for sure. Um, and now Sandstorm and Java are really just stacked on top of each other right now. Two silence in a row gets punished by a Scythe there. Oh, back and forth. Side mm -hmm. sig misses, but the travel speed keeps him safe. Finally able to dodge one of those. He's oh. been money with those side sigs on the edge guards, and Sandstorm was ready that time. Ooh, trying ooh. again. He's fishing. You see, he, he's dodging them, but they're not getting punished. So there's no reason any for there's not any reason for Java to stop doing it, right? Like, oh, that's, that's for sure. And he he'll probably go for it again if he see if he gets jo uh, Sandstorm cornered because Sandstorm hasn't been going to the wall. He's been going to the edge of the stage, and side sig just drifts right over it. Will he look for it again here? He might look for it after a side lights. Oh, but the neutral light recovery might stop Java from even having that as an option. And the down stick just barely doesn't knock out. Sandstorm, little miscalculation there. D-Light recovery will take him off the top, and now Sandstorm's on winner's bracket stock. This is for it all. And these guys are really trying, to, trying their best. Nice side light, but he's got to find a bigger hit to take this stock. Neutral light side light's a great start. Okay. There we go. That's a good one. Now is the edge guard, is he going to really commit to this? Oh, oh the oh. exhausted recovery. Beautiful job from Java. And the Nair to tag on a little extra damage. 
Insult to injury there. Weapon throw down. Picks it up. He tries to go for another one. He goes for the dive kick. And now Java's an unarmed mode. Never mind. Okay. okay. Stopped <laughs> early. And very necessarily so for Sandstorm there. Everybody in chat sweating. 88% of the viewers is <laughs> sweating right now. So if like, this was on, an Sandstorm, anime, he would have you're a supposed transformation to be the unarmed goat. mode. <laughs> What's that? Is it, if this was an anime, Java would have a transformation unarmed mode. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it's kind of like a... What's the opposite of, like, powering up? <laughs> and, then, and then acting like you've powered up. You're like, ah! Is so, that's so called you're, anything you're like, Vegeta like, gets. And then you put on your second layer of weighted clothes, and now I'm ready. Like, that's what that's what Java does when he's fighting. Um, oh, Sandstorm puts him off the side of the stage with that down air. Recovery hits. Ooh, okay. Sandstorm looking good. Java was looking Ooh. like he was in form to close this out without Sandstorm being able to fight Ooh. back. But right now. Up and throw. Yeah. Oh, he's getting throw. close. Oh, Stuff no. recovery. That's huge. But Java goes low against Scythe off stage. Sandstorm has a downline opportunity here. But no, he gets the recovery instead. Java low on one jump. Has his dodge still. What's Sandstorm going to wait for here? He goes for the end sync and Java just narrowly outspaces it. Goes for a jumping sider instead. Oh, and this is close. Delay recovery would knock out. Sarah gets him. Sandstorm low on a jump. He has to dodge, but he gets the oh. Nair instead. And the reversal's huge, but he doesn't trust his edge guard. So he goes back to the stage. End sync on the table. Recovery. Down light. Java makes it back to center. Side light disarms him. Sandstorm needs one more good hit. Goes over to the spear. Do the... Oh, the, the ground the throw. Helicopter him. Oh, he goes for the neutral stick delay oh. recovery. Doesn't knock out. Java needs one more of those to work in the oh recovery hits. He's he barely surviving. That lob is perfect. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Wow is right, Mr. Announcer. That lob oh. was perfection. Set him up. He had to dodge it. And it's like, got him. Wow. Mate. Yeah, that was, that was um, mortifying, right? If you're Java and you're looking at this, and it's like you're doing all the calculations of all the way they make it back to stage. You're like, oh.